Hey everyone, it's Amador, and I'm here to show you yet another collective haul. I really haven't been... I don't have anything finished to show you guys. Um, I will pretty soon. You guys, I'm trying to catch up. I want to thank everybody for just being patient and sticking in there with me, you guys. There's just a lot of stuff going on. You, We all know that life gets in the way sometimes, and a few of you know what's going on. I appreciate all of your love and your attention, so let's just... I'll just show you what I bought. My... Um, what is this? My, uh, my... What is it called again? Totally losing my mind. What is it? Not shopping therapy. What is it? Okay, so I'll figure it out along the way of showing you guys a few of my collective hauls. How embarrassing. Um, and let's see here. Retail therapy. There you go. I knew I'd get it eventually. So anyway, so embarrassed. So, um... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this one is from, um... Your Scrapbook Supply. And... Yes, this is Valentine's Day paper. We're not even over the Christmas, and I figured, hey, what the heck, it looked really, really cute. I absolutely love it. Um, and this is the uh, My Mind's Eye, Lost and Found, Record It. And it just had just really beautiful just pictures. Normally, I'm not a Paisley person, but I just really thought that was cute. So it has quite a bit of, you know, things in the creams and everything. It's not just all red and white, which just drives me nuts. Um... So I got this pack. This is the 12 by 12 pack, and it I got two of them, of course. And it comes with a little sticker sheet. I totally forgot about that, that it, these come with a sticker sheet, and I actually bought an extra sticker sheet. So anyhow, sorry for the glare, you guys. So I also got the... Um, let me move the little camera a little bit. I also got the chipboard set, because they're just totally awesome, and I figured, hey, why not? And here's the sticker sheet. I got an extra sticker sheet. Why? Who knows? Um, so I got that. I also got the 6x6... And let me open it. Maybe you guys have seen this, maybe not. Um, I'm still trying to catch up on my videos. But it has these kind of muted um, reds. Instead of that bright, bright red and these pinks. And you guys know, I love my shabby chic stuff, so I love the pinks. I love that page right there. So, super awesome. I had to get that. Um, Should have gotten another one. I also got some of the embellishments. This is the um, 60 pieces. And... The one thing I do like about uh, Pink Paisley in my mind's eye, when they have the little embellishment pieces, it's not like 10 or 15. This one has 60 pieces. So, uh, you can see a whole bunch of stuff. I actually, did I get two? Yeah. I got two of those. Love those, love those. Got the little pockets. Why not? They're super cute. You can see them right there. Sorry for the glare, you guys. And then they have, and of course, now everybody's doing the Project Life cards. And at first I was against it, but if you guys saw one of my um, design team kits for One Little Dreamer, I'm starting to like Project Life. I'm not going to lie. I think it's kind of crazy. But this one has all of these. This one has 64 cards. Totally awesome. And they're not like 64 of like two designs. Because I'm sorry, people, whoever designs that other crap. Um, that's ridiculous. Who needs 64 of the same design? So anyway, I'm probably going to get some bad hate mail right now. Um, I also got, they have some of these little um, postcards from Paris to Webster's Pages. These cute little pockets. Thought they would be really good in... Um, for swaps and whatnot. Then they have the Nutcrackers. I thought I put another one in here, but apparently I got the Nutcracker one instead. So, these are super cute. And the cool thing is, these come in 25. You guys, um, this is just a simple, quick way that you can make an advent calendar. Hang it on some twine or whatever, put little numbers, and because this has 25 exactly. So, super awesome. They already have, they're already decorated if you think about it. So, got those. I got some of these little embellishments, also from the postcards from Paris. It has a little Eiffel Tower frame. Why not? Um, let's see here. I also got this. They have this new line. It's called Something Tattered. I've never heard of it until now. Absolutely freaking love it because they have such different. They have such different um different stamps. They have a little bit more elegant. Um, I also got this one. I think this is like also meant for Project Life. This one is Sentiment Series from Pink Paisley, and the cool thing is. Here's the back. You can see them. You can stamp them and punch them out. I have tons of circles punches, but they can be for quite a bit of things. But I can also use them for spool tops. I like making little faux spool tops, and they're just really cute. You can use them for Project Life, and if you're cool, if you're smart enough, like I, hopefully I can do it, um, when you punch it and then you cut right here, you punch the, um, I mean, you stamp the image, punch it out, and you cut right here, and you can make it like a little faux paper clip, a little faux paper paper clip, so it goes right into your Project Life or any other kind of, you know, um, craft ideas. Obviously, I haven't even opened it, so I wouldn't even be able to try right now. So let me move that aside. I also got um, Gloria from um, Crafty Cake 7. She has an Etsy shop, and it's called Make It Cutesy. First of all, I love it when she, when she says that. Um, and 
This one is, uh, she has some chipboard sets and she had a sale. So I was like, okay, let me try it. I don't have these dies. And if one thing is I like to shop, but then if you want to use it for like a project, the best place to get dies and die sets is, you know, it's online. So she has these and these are, and look how they come packaged. Super cute. I have, I got two sets. I wanted to try it out. Really awesome, awesome chipboard. And this is the dress. I'll make sure to put all the links down down on the um, description, you guys. So this is the dress. And then this one, of course, you guys know I had to have this. This one is this massive. And if you guys know uh, my obsession with uh, the mason jars, let me get this page right here to show you guys. This is a huge, massive. Look at that. Look at that puppy. I had to have it. And, that, and I only ordered one set because I wanted to see the size, you know. Um, I want more. I have to have more. But look how awesome it is. Love it. And it also comes with these labels if you can see that there we go the jar lid and the little banner so yeah so check out her site you guys she has tons and tons she has some of it in burlap paper she has so many things you guys check out Gloria shop i love her she is super awesome uh and she'll be adding more stuff so it's uh make it cutesy on zibit right there and they come in these cute little packages i'm like i just i love when stuff is packaged super cute because i just want more why it, you don't even like order the packaging you just order the stuff so i got that i also got um i was searching for these online and let me show you these little charms i found um with the help let's see here i found these and these are from let me see if i can get to focus here we go lecsupplyshop.com but these are she also has an Etsy shop totally love it lecsupplyshop.com and these were super super inexpensive and they were awesome these are these little um itty bitty rhinestone charms and these are the 8 millimeter the 8 millimeter one she they have um smaller ones but these are perfect you guys will see these in a project coming up. Um, I ordered a few sets just to kind of see because you know you never know when you're ordering online they're super shimmery they're beautiful. Um, I got a few of those and like I said you never know when you're ordering online so you kind of want to be cautious. Now I have to go back because they have it in different quantities. And look at I got these awesome cute little snowflakes. I haven't seen these anywhere. Cute 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 little itty bitty snowflakes. Um, and like I said when you order stuff you never know at first and then you're going to go back. I'm going to go back. And these are much bigger ones. And these are like the bronze ones. But look at that. Super gorgeous. Very, very good price. Very, very, very. And then they have these zipper pulls. And they don't have to be zipper pulls. But look how freaking cute those are. And they say... They say love. And it's got the little place for here for you to link it on to whatever. And a little heart. I saw those. I had to have those. So these are these. I think these are the stainless steel ones. And um, my plan for these... I have those metal stamps that you use like on leather or on metal to put when you're making something for somebody or a charm. You can just put their initial and it totally personalizes these for them. I ordered just a one little set because I wanted to see, you know, how they are. And yeah, so rest assured, I'm going back for more. Let's see here. And then these are, I think these are the brass. And you can see the difference in, these are a little bit thicker, but this one has the hole on the side and this one has the hole in the center so awesome awesome charms and the cool thing like I said they can all be personalized and it will be awesome so I got those what else oh yeah you guys are gonna die oh my goodness all right so I went to Crate and Barrel to get we actually I live in Vegas so we don't have a Crate and Barrel we just have the holiday store that, that little pop-up holiday store which I think it sucks but hey whatever um I went in to get Fifi one of her Christmas presents and it's these uh ceramic um bowls for christmas usually i get her new bowls and a new bed and she's spoiled if any of you know if i've skyped with any of you guys and you guys know fifi she is a little spoiled so i saw these online and i had to have them but look how cute they're very shabby vintage kind of thing and it goes very well with um our living room decor which is very kind of vintage european totally totally love it we have a lot of like old stained pieces and stuff and but look I absolutely love it and it's got this awesome cute handle so I got her a set of those but anyway that's not what I wanted to show you guys what I wanted to show you guys something is ironically something that I said I would never work with again why because I don't know I just can't I did one once but hey in, the, in this huge um box of boxes but they have these look at that and now um let me open the small one 
So these are actually a crate and barrel, and you would think that they are super expensive, and they're not. The small one is, doesn't say, but the small one was like th under $3, and the bigger one was like under $4. So let me see, and let's make a mess over here. And this one is four inches wide, but look, it opens this way. So it's perfectly round, and they're not wonky, like some balsa boxes that you get, and they're like, when you look at them, you're like, oh, it's a cool circle, it's, you know, like a hat box, and no, it's more like a half-assed uh, oval. So anyway, um, they're made the same way, it looks just like the same thing, it has the same ugly cord. Um, so yeah, I said, you know what, those are super cool, they're very different, they're just perfectly round, I don't know if you guys have seen them anywhere else, but I never have, so I figured, what the hey, I'm gonna give it a try. This is the big one, the big one, let me see. The big one is about five and a half inches, roughly, and just look how awesome it is. Super awesome. And this one is actually, I think Nathan was reading the the thingy on the whatever, and this one is actually birch. Yeah, this is a large birch box, so that's pretty freaking cool. So I expect it to be a little bit sturdier than some of the fall apart balsa boxes that we found. But look at that, look how awesome. It's perfect, so it can make cute cute hat boxes but just look at that oh my goodness so if you guys have already shown these sorry i obviously laid out my videos but you guys go and pick some up they're super inexpensive like i said we've paid more for less crap okay um like i said this one is under like it was about three dollars and this one or under four dollars and this one's under five dollars um but they're super awesome very unique um and they open look at they open all like all the way to the half usually some of them just open up to here but you can put anything in there and they're pretty sturdy so how cool are those and this is the the side view right here you could stack them and you can see look at that super awesome oh and one more thing um last week was uh, my nathan's anniversary and he actually got me a um teflon bone folder i've been too lazy and too stingy i guess to order one because these can be super dumb expensive and this is the large one um because they're expensive. But first thing I did is I took it out of the package and I tried it. I scored stuff and then, you know, I braid or whatever the heck that is. Or, I don't know, whatever when you fold it. Super awesome. And it totally, totally works. No no shiny, no glossiness. It's an indulgent, so hey, why not? So anyway, just wanted to show you guys that too. Thanks, Nathan. So I can't think of anything else I have to show you guys. Um, I've been doing other shopping, I assure you. Uh, there's some stuff coming up, so hopefully I'll have some finished uh, projects for you guys, and hope you like all the yummy stuff here. I will go ahead and put the link to all of the sites of what I bought, so I'm just take another look at those. Like I said, I don't care for balsa boxes because they always fall apart on me because I'm a brute, but these were just super cute. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try it again. Give it another whirl. So anyhow, check those out, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.